Why are you out here marching today? So our grandchildren and children can have a better future. They don't need to go to school and be scared every day. When we went to school, all we did was a fire drill. Today, they're teaching these kids how to hide and be silent from terrorists. I agree with all the kids, and I love that the kids started this movement, but it's something that we all need to get behind. My sign says, no other country has these problems. <laughs> it's true, and it's something that lawmakers have the ability to change. Someone actually pranked the school saying that they were going to shoot it up, so pretty much everyone kind of freaked out and they shut down the school for about a day and then everyone came back afterwards. At first I thought that it was real and I freaked out because I like a lot of things are like that are happening. I didn't want that to happen so I was kind of afraid. I mean as a public school teacher for my you know, to me this is like you know, just unbelievable that from where I came when I started teaching to where we are now, that are doing, we're protesting. I try to prevent guns in schools, and there are people who are advocating for people like myself to carry a gun. It's just it's insane. You know, this is just a, you know an important moment, and I'm glad I'm here with my kids. I am out here marching because I have a daughter, and I want her to be able to live in a world and go to school without fear of guns. I'm out here with my uncle to make sure that we uh, show people that we're not taking this anymore. Why does a, a regular citizen need a weapon of war? A gun that can shoot 70, 80 rounds. Why, did, why does a regular citizen need that? It's got to stop. If I have to march every weekend, I will do it. First things first, all automatic weapons, gone. Number two, squeeze the gun lobby. No more gun money in our government, period. I just hope that there's, there's gonna be no more deaths of children. I just really don't want more people to suffer. I'm a medical student, um, and medical schools across the country are standing up, and the national like slogan uh, that people have been putting on banners is gun violence is a public health issue. I really hope that the outcome today and this movement, this incredible movement, that we all are part of it, something happens, you know, it's the Me Too, is everything, you know, it, it's, it's enough already, it's enough. I do not believe that we need guns in our society. I believe we need more books, more art, more culture, more music. The outrage extends to all the things it should be covering, to Black Lives Matter and to, you know, to immigration, to all the, all the various areas. We should be shouting about all these things. I have two young kids and I, and I really want to make sure that, that, you know, things like this don't happen. Because it, it, even, even if it doesn't happen to them directly, it's still traumatizing for the younger kids. Politicians need to wake up and we're going to vote them out of office. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.